Hey guys, it's Josie and welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't read from the title already, this video is going to be an update on all of the products that I've reviewed in the past. Everything that I've done a personal separate review on, I'm going to be updating with you now. And then I'm also going to give you my updated opinion on all of the things that I got in my last BoxyCharm because I did unbox that and do a demo of all the products. And so I want to update you on what I think of those products too. Alright, so this first one that I have here is going to look different than it did. It's the Too Faced Lash Gasm Mascara, but a, it's in a different tube now. It's the same wand from that mascara and the same product inside of here, but I had to transfer it to this tube because the other one broke. This little mechanism right here where when you pull it out, it takes excess product off of it that broke like the whole thing just broke off of the tube and it was a huge mess and I couldn't figure out how to fix it and it wouldn't work anymore and so this wouldn't screw onto it either because this wand actually broke right there as well and I have no idea why but so I took the time because this was completely empty so I took the time to scrape every last little bit of that mascara out of there and put it in here so it's the same product, same wand and everything, but it's in a different tube. But anyway, anyway, when I did a review on this, this was my very first review ever, and I didn't like it. I really, really hated it because it was really clumpy looking. It didn't separate like it was supposed to, especially since the wand is so incredibly spiky. It was just way too clumpy, and it just, like, didn't add any length or volume whatsoever. It looked like I was basically just painting my lashes and then adding clumps. But my opinion has changed on this thing quite a bit because I think it's because the formula dried up a little bit that it's easier to work with now. And here, I'll show you. So here is what it looks like on my lashes now. And I really do got to say that it looks a lot better. On I did two coats on this side so that I can show you that the more coats you do, it starts getting a little bit clumpy and smudgy. And then on this side, I did just one coat. And as you can see, these lashes are a lot more separated and better looking than this side. Um, and so with this, I wouldn't recommend doing more than one coat because it's not going to get you anywhere. Trust me, even if you sit there, do it, let it dry for a second, and then do another one. Or even if you go in with it straight after the first coat, it's not going to give any more length or volume. Once you get that first coat on there, the nice fluttery separated coat, that is all the length and volume you're going to get. No matter how much more you build it up, it will just get clumpier, not longer, or more volumized. And the next product that I have here that I did a review on is this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And mine is in the shade Captivating. It's just a beautiful peachy color. That's all it is. It's nothing special. It's just a regular peach. But there is one swatch on my hand. And I do really love it. Even though it's nothing special, it is actually a really peachy color. I'm not really sure if you can tell that on camera. But it is really peachy. Like It's the most peachy product that I own. Like There's not even a color in my Sweet Peach palette that is as peachy as this is. It's very corally peach and I love it. And I still have the same opinion about this except for one thing. It is still very creamy and smooth and buttery. It hasn't got hard pan on me or bumpy or rough whatsoever. And it still lasts all day, but only if I apply it a second time. Now I don't know why this happens with me or if it happens with anybody else or with you, but I will usually do my foundation before my eyes and mascara and brows and stuff. I'll do my foundation, my blush, and then my contour. And when I first put that on, by the time I'm finished with the rest of my makeup, it'll be gone. And I don't know why, but you can barely see it. It'll have just sunk into the skin and kind of disappeared. And so by the time I'm finished with all my makeup, I have to reapply it because it you can't see it anymore. But then... Once I reapply it, it's there for the whole day. Now, I don't know why this is. I really couldn't tell you. 
but if I put it on before doing my makeup, it'll sink into the skin and kind of disappear. But then when I put it on for a second time, it's there for the whole day and it's not going anywhere. It'll stick with you all day long. So I love it, but I do just have to apply it in the beginning of my makeup and then apply it again when I'm finished and it'll stay all day. Now the next product that I have is the product that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is the Too Faced La Matte Color Drench Lipsticks. They had their La Creme Color Drench Lipsticks, and now they have come out with a matte version of those. And these are really, really good lipsticks. This is the color that I got, and it is in the shade Rebel Heart. And on camera, trust me, this is looking really bright and more um, orange-toned. But in real life, it's actually... I mean, it is a bit orange toned in real life, but it's a lot darker. It's like, I'd probably say four shades darker in real life. It looks really a lot, a lot brighter on the camera, and it also looks a lot brighter on my lips, but it is a lot darker of a red. But I do love the formula of these. It is, it is just a little bit stiff, like... It, when you're dragging it across your lips, it's a little bit stiff and tuggy, but I personally don't mind that because that just means it's a little bit more matte and it, since it is a drier formula, it doesn't transfer as much. Now, in that video, I said that it didn't transfer on anything whatsoever, and that was not true. I don't know why it did that that first time I applied it, when I was drinking out of my water bottle or eating, whatever, but, um... Now, when I use it, it does transfer a little bit, like, um, the inside part of your lip is always kind of a little bit wet, so when I take a drink, it transfers a little bit, and I don't know why it didn't that first day, but it does, but it does last all day, it won't come off, sometimes when I'm eating, if I'm eating something big, it will transfer to my chin, but that happens with pretty much any lipstick that's not a super matte liquid lipstick, but I really love it. It's very, very long wearing. It's very comfortable. I can't feel it on my lips. Even though it is a little bit more of a dry formula, I can't feel it. So it's fine. I really love these and I would recommend. Okay, now the next thing that I have here is this brand new Makeup Geek blush. The new blushes that they just came out with and repackaged and reformulated. And mine is in the shade XOXO. I got it because of BoxyCharm. And I have been really, really loving this. It takes just the tiniest little tiny tap on your brush and then on your cheek. I thought that that Tarte blush was very pigmented, but this one is very, very pigmented. I'll show you right now. One little touch. And look at all that pigment. This swatch right here, I built up with a few swipes. Now this one is just one. And there's two. It's very pigmented. And look, it is so pigmented, it's like stained my finger. But, um, it's like a very hot pink color. It, I've heard people describing it as a coral, but, I mean, I guess you could say it's a light coral, but I feel like it's more of a hot pink, like a hot pink. And, um, I really love it. I just barely, barely tap my brush in it, like so. I'll tap it like that, and then barely, barely touch it on there. See, that's, it's very pigmented, and um, it lasts all day. There's no need to reapply it after I'm finished with my makeup. This one doesn't do that, although I don't even know why that does it. I don't know why it would, but this one doesn't do that. I apply it, and then it's good to go for the rest of the day. Also, one more thing I would like to mention is that these pans do pop out, and they say something on the back, it says blush, pinky, coral, and then a number, but it was glued into the pan, and this pan is not magnetized. I don't know why it came out so easy, like, I was checking if it would come out because somebody asked me in the comments, and so I just barely tapped it, and it fell right out. It came out really easy, but this is not magnetized. It won't stick in there, and it rattles, and so... I don't know, I don't know why, but it, it does come out and the pan, the actual pan of the blush, is magnetized. You could put it in a Z palette, I don't know why it fell out so easy if it's not meant to be taken out, but whatever, it's fine. When I'm using it, 
it doesn't fall out or anything it's fine next up I have this Urban Decay beached bronzer it was a part of one of their new collections I'm not sure what season of collection they came it out for I would assume spring I think I think it was spring but um, mine is in the shade bronzed and in that video I did mention that I broke it and had to alcohol it back together and then it hard panned super bad and I had to scrape all of that off like I said in that video, it is still just as pigmented as it was when I swatched it before that happened. Oops, got it over the blush a little bit. But yeah, it's very pigmented. That was just one swipe with it. And it is very, very, very smooth. Like more buttery than that Makeup Geek blush, which is very buttery. And it stays on pretty well. Like all of this that you see in this area here is that bronzer and it stays on all day I love the warm tone of it and it doesn't go on patchy whatsoever it really does suck that that happened and it seems to be going by really bad like this was just as full of a pan when I put it back together as it was in the beginning like it was very full and now like a lot of it is gone. This is almost gone. It's getting very thin and I don't know why the product is going by so fast if that has anything to do with me breaking it and putting it back together. But yeah, it seems to be going by really fast. I don't know why. The next thing that I have here is not just one product but two. I did a video where I tested out baking your face with this Sephora Collection Bright Set Finishing Powder. It's a banana powder. And so I did baking versus just setting. And I did end up liking the baking side first, so I normally do that. But if I'm in a hurry, I'll just grab this. But my opinion on them is still the same. I still like this one more. It smooths out and brightens. Like, this is called the Bright Set Finishing Powder. And um, I just put it on like I would normally bake, leave it in. It smooths over beautifully, just like a normal translucent powder. And this one... For some reason it doesn't brighten. This one really does brighten my eye up a lot when I use it. But this one, for some reason, really doesn't that much. So since it doesn't really brighten, I set the rest of my face with it if I ever need to. And it doesn't ever look yellow on my face. It looks fine. But yeah, it lasts a really long time when I bake with it and when I just set my face with it. It lasts a really long time and lets my oils come through really well. And I just really like it. I did... I did use it today, and as you can see, it doesn't look um, cakey, and it doesn't it doesn't look yellow or anything. It doesn't look weird. The last thing that I have to talk about here that I did a review on separately are these two YSL mascaras. They are the YSL Vinyl Couture Mascara, and I really, really love them. My opinion has not changed. I love them so much. When I first put this on, I was shocked and amazed so much that I had to go have my husband look at my lashes. I love it. It makes them look so big and so amazing, and I love it. And um, this little sample has lasted me a really long time. They are both just sample sizes. And I would say it was a bit more of a wet formula, this one was. And now it's a little bit more dry, but the performance of it hasn't changed whatsoever. The blue one, it's the same thing. It makes your lashes really big and long and beautiful, and it builds up really well. But this one, the formula is even better, and I think they might have did it because it's blue. They want you to be able to build it up more. So it does feel a little bit more sticky and tacky, kind of like a very, very mild version of a glue or something, but not, but not. I don't want that to scare you. Um, it's a little bit more tacky when you're putting it on so that it adheres and builds better more quickly. And I love this one so much. My opinion has not changed. I freaking love these. And when they're gone, I will be purchasing full sizes, hopefully of the original and a color. All we have to talk about is just really quickly those BoxyCharm products. This nail polish, the Ella and Mila nail polish in the shade Pistache, I cannot tell you if my opinion has changed. I didn't like it so much when I first used it. It was very thin and watery, not very pigmented. It didn't look very smooth on the nails. It was hard to get off the skin, oddly enough, and I haven't used it since, so I can't really tell you much on this brow gel by the brand The Brow Gal. The, the Brow Gal. And I love this stuff. 
in the video, in that BoxyCharm video, I said that it was comparable to the Anastasia Brow Gel. And, um, honestly, this one does crumble a little bit. The Anastasia one doesn't do that. It gets kind of hard, and if you put on too much, like in the beginning I was packing it on for God knows why, but if you put on too much, it gets kind of flaky, and when you touch it, it'll crumble off. I've been putting it on in thin layers now, and it doesn't do that anymore, but just make sure not to put on too much, and it makes my eyebrows last all day. It doesn't just put my hairs in place, but it also keeps my brow pencil underneath in place, and I love that about it. With a brow wax, I'm kind of scared that I'll be wiping my pencil away, because I use pencil and it could slip right off my skin, so I like brow gels. And I do like this, but this is just as expensive as the other one, so... I mean, you may as well just get that if you've been wanting it. And then the next thing is this um, lip liner from the brand Star Looks. And this is in the shade Charmed because it was a collaboration with BoxyCharm. I love this. Not only is it incredibly, incredibly, incredibly matte, um, it's also very long wearing. If I wear this just on its own all over the lips, it does not budge. It doesn't transfer. This one actually doesn't transfer, and I would know because it's almost gone. That's it. That's all that's left because I've been using it that much. I freaking love it. I want to get more of these. It lasts so long. It's completely smudge-proof, budge-proof. doesn't smear, doesn't get on my chin when I eat. It's amazing. And then I can also put it over top of a cream lipstick or a shiny lipstick, and it will mattify it a little bit and help it last longer too. Or even if I just put it underneath of something, I love this. I love this. I recommend very much. This double ego eyeliner from the brand Pure. And it has a liquid liner side and then a cream liner side. I haven't been using the cream side much. It's not very pigmented. It doesn't, it's kind of dry feeling and it doesn't, it doesn't show up on my waterline when I put it on there. It just doesn't go on. But the liquid liner side is amazing. It has a very fine tip sorry I don't know if you can tell but it has a very very fine tip and um, it's a gray shade let's see oh it's in the shade Swiss Alps and it's a gray color and but when I put it on my eye it does end up looking quite more black than you would expect thank you it starts out kind of gray and then look at that. It goes black. Like, it started out so great and then it goes black. I'm not sure why. But if you build it up enough, it will look black on your eyes. And it's a very, very good. Like, if you did want it to be gray, I guess you could put on a really thin layer. But then it wouldn't show up as much because it wouldn't be as pigmented. But I really do like this. It looks pretty black on my eyes. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm motioning to my face. But, um... Yeah, I really like it. It stays a very long time. It does not smudge on me. And then the last thing of this video is this perfume by the brand C&M. And this is in Romance de Provence? Romance de Provence? Is that the scent? I guess that's the scent, but um, I don't know. It smells, like I said in that video, as I keep saying, it smells really sweet when it's fresh but then it dries down to kind of smell like pine and it's fine it lasts a decent amount of time a couple hours it doesn't really last that long I yeah it doesn't last very long a few hours like I can barely smell it on myself now from when I sprayed it earlier which wasn't that long ago yeah it just it's okay but I don't really like the perfumes that we get in boxy jar but yeah, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!